Good morning, Foster. Today is May 7th, 2020. What do we believe about the Savior and salvation? The devil has hurled some railing accusations against God, saying that God is selfish, power-hungry, and not to be trusted. And had God immediately eliminated the devil, it would have proven Satan's accusations to be true. But in eternity past, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit developed a plan so ingenious that it would unmask the lies of the devil, reveal God to be as good as he actually is, and save humanity in the process. The first elements of this ingenious plan are seen in Genesis chapter 1, when God gave humanity the ability to procreate. He made human beings male and female and said, Be fruitful, multiply. And the devil could not wrap his mind around what God was intending to do. In Genesis 3, he caused our first parents to fall into sin, and thus all sorrow and suffering and sadness came into the world. And then, immediately after the fall, in Genesis 3.15, God began unfolding the ingenious details of his plan. Genesis 3.15 is called the Proto-Euangelion, the first giving of the really good news. In speaking to the devil, God said, I will put enmity, enmity, a term from the same root as the term enemies, I will put enmity between you and the woman, between your seed and her seed. He shall bruise you on the head, though you will bruise him on the heel. In Genesis 3.15, we get the first promise that God himself was going to come into this world in the seed of the woman. He was going to invade this world to reveal himself for what he actually is. How does God get around the lies of the devil? He comes here himself. Ingenious. Have a great day, Foster.